Everybody, welcome to another episode of Ginger on Wheels, where we get to test and review the latest electrically wheeled gadgets. This is going to be an episode that will blow your socks off. This is the Fidico Lightspeed Night. This is a 70 mile per hour electric scooter, and today we're going to test this thing. Not only are we going to test it, but we're going to bring it to the most experienced scooter riders around. We're going to have them test it. We're going to see what they all think. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is the craziest electric scooter that I have ever seen. Okay, so this is Wyatt. He's got a channel still rolling electric. He rides the Wolf King GT Pro. Uh, Wolf King, just regular uh, Wolf King. Wolf King, 72 volt. I'm gonna let him ride the Fidico Light Speed Night. So have fun on this thing. Yeah, I'm give it a rip. Yeah. See what we think. There he is. This thing is absolutely amazing. The speed, the pull, for how heavy it is, it's just absolutely yeah. impressive. Yeah. Sure. How would you compare it to the uh, Wolf, or would you? Uh, I wouldn't even compare it. I think this is in a whole other class from the Wolf. And uh, yeah, I think this is uh, definitely uh, puts it up there with Super Scooter or... Uh, totally. Yeah, beyond beyond the Wolf King or Wolf King GT, they definitely did out the uh, to do on this. When you're, uh, if you're trying to compare this to a Nami or a GT or a Bronco, just like don't. This is twice as big. It's a, in a completely different class of vehicle. So it's absolutely bigger than it looks here. Um, you'll be seeing this on video. It is way bigger in person. How tall are you? I am six foot. He's six foot tall. So here's a good comparison. Very tall. Absolutely. Well, thanks for letting me ride, and I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, so this is Chris Isaacson from My Max Mods. He's got a wealth of experience on scooters and high-speed electric scooters. Let's uh, see what you think about the Fidico Lightspeed Knight. He owns a 011X and a Wolf King and all the... He, like, builds batteries. He makes scooters faster than they should be, so... It does have brakes. Pretty <laughs> impressive. Yeah. I didn't expect it to stop a 200-pound scooter so well. Hey, you seen Merlin? The, the, uh, I haven't seen Merlin in a while. The uh, brakes, so let me know what you think of them. They look bigger than like normal hydraulic brakes we yeah, see on scooters. So they're, they're single caliper brakes. It's just a bigger one instead of a quad. Uh, All right. But that stopped really well. It's probably what it is. It it's does stop realized. really well. Here's the brakes. Like it literally locked them up, which is a good indication that. Dude, take this. Now, how would you uh, compare it to the Wolf King GT if you would? If I I would say this and both of them are super very they're super torquey scooters. Uh, the one thing I would say is that the Wolf King is a little more stable, I think, for being torquey. Um, at least maybe because maybe for the the spring rating for my size was was different. Uh, but if you kind of squeeze on it, it does go back a little bit. Um, as far as like you kind of feel like a decline, um, and it kind of the scooter can kind of urge in front of you a little bit. I don't know if you tried that as well. If you kind of hit the throttle. You, feel, you kind of get that feeling it kind of leaves with you a little bit. It leaves without me. When I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's what I'm saying. So that's why it's super, super torquey. Yeah. Um, I think the Wolf King, I think, I don't know if it's because the back's higher, um, but when you do kind of, maybe because it burns out more. Maybe that's what it is. And this really just grabs because the tires are so big. It's so damn big. It's yeah. heavy. Yeah, the tires, the ride is amazing. It does ride like a motorcycle. Like I was carving in and out there. Uh, the turning radius on it is super, super good. Um, honestly, like I said, it's just it rides like a motorcycle, so un like unlike anything I've ridden before. That big tire rides really nice. How do you turn the LEDs on? Are they on? Oh yeah, see that, and that is the coolest feature right there. Is literally all the lights um, that, that come on there when you're riding. It's on the front too. I like the top. yeah on the front. I mean, literally when I the first thing I saw it's a it's a it's an eye grabber. I definitely like as soon as I saw you, I was kind of gravitated towards it. 
Um, and the looks department is very sleek, well put together. Uh, not a ton of wiring. Uh, great machine work on the front, that front uh, lo like logo right there. That's really cool. Uh, that totally makes it stand out and kind of makes it more unique and more futuristic looking. Um, and a great job with the acrylic. Um, it's very bright, very clean. The cuts are clean on it. The deck looks clean. Um, and just with the bigger tires and the bigger wheels, it's just, it's, it's a machine. It's absolutely, absolutely crazy. So this is Garth. He rides the Wolf King GT Pro and he had a great time on the Fidico Lightspeed night. Uh, the microphone stopped working unfortunately, but you can tell by the smile on his face. He was having a great time on the thing. That's it. That's going to sum up my little uh, range test slash mini review on the Fidico Lightspeed night. This scooter is crazy. Very heavy, very fast. The other scooter riders around here that ride the Wolf King GT and the Nami, they all agree that this thing is just the beastliest scooter that you can get. So take that for what it's worth. It's hard to peel out the front tire, but it's really smooth, really fast, and it's got lots of range, probably about 50 miles of range. So if you're looking for a nice beastly scooter, the Fidico Lightspeed Knight is a good choice for you. Thanks for tuning in for the review. I'll catch you guys next time.